Good morning. I look better, don't I? This week I look better, and before we go any further, I'm not going to moan, I'm not going to threaten to give up my YouTube channel. <laughs> I can't tell you, I was so chuffed that so many of you sprung to my defence and said, no Joe, you mustn't give it up. <clears throat> Do you know, I will never give this channel up, even if I have nobody watching me. I have an ego so big that I have to sort of show off to somebody. So, um, uh, no, but, um, oh my gosh, last week, let's, let's put a cross through that, except, no, let's not. Let's just thank all of you for literally grabbing your family, subscribing. I think people that were passing you in the street, you made subscribe. My subscribers grew by, I think, over 100 last week, and that was down to all of you just supporting me. Um, I feel much better this week. It took a week, seriously, it took a week to get over whatever I had, um, and um, I am now back on track, hopefully, back on track. Um, Recognise this? Oh, the other thing is, the theory event, thanks to you, sold out, but I'm trying to get them to put on another. So um, hopefully there'll be another theory event because um, the money goes to charity, the tickets, you know, go to charity, but also it's a, it's a chance for a meet up for you and me as much event as anything. So um, yes, I'm wearing a theory suit because I'm going down to check out the, um, the shop, which is where the event's being held on Marylebone High Street, um, and meeting Chloe, who's head of their marketing, I think. They're, they're all really young girls. They're so switched on and sharp and on it, and I try to keep up with them all. Anyway, I'm, ho I'm running down there, just had a blow dry, but ca caught in the rain so um, and the wind, so it's all over the place, but at least I've had my hair washed First time in a week. Myrtle and I are excited because tonight, Susie, my friend Susie, who, oh my gosh, walked Myrtle all of last week, she's coming over with Flora and we're having fish and chips here. Fish and chips from Fishworks on Maribone High Street. They do the best takeaway fish and chips. They're like designer fish and chips. So that's what's kept me going all day. I keep thinking, we're gonna have fish and chips tonight. So yes, um, anyway, heading down now, and I'll see you a bit later. Well, I've spent the afternoon trying on clothes. I cannot tell you how brilliant. There's Chloe, I've been working with Chloe. Um, I've had the best afternoon ever just trying on clothes for the event. Um, but also, if you go to my Instagram, you will see my choices for the spring collection and also for the linen collection. Very quick snoop. That's just a snoop. You need to go to Instagram to find out more. I'll leave the Instagram handle there. But yeah, I love theory. And it's, they are, as they, as they were saying, it's your personal uniform. It's what you choose to put on every morning that makes you feel better. How many times have you seen this suit? For everybody that says I don't eat, I mean I seldom eat this amount. Look who's here. But Flora's not here. Flora's asleep, but Myrtle's making Myrtle's it. Myrtle's making it. No, Myrtle. You and could she only is have. She's eating it, everyone. She is eating. I am eating. I'm so excited. Fish and chips from Fishworks. Yum yum. Will you be pleased to see me gone? <clears throat> Clearing my throat, but my throat's almost better now, Mert. Yes. Look at that. Getting brighter. Marylebone is getting brighter. I am off to Pimlico. I'm off to Pimlico. I love Pimlico. It's just tricky for me because it's not... Well, there is a tube station, and it's, you know, on a summer's day, I would walk there, but it looks like it's going to rain again. I am going to, you know, wonderful Paula Sutton from Hill House Vintage. I met her for the first time on Sheer Lux, and she has become a friend. Um, and she has a book out 
a cozy crime. I'm going to leave a link below, but anyway, it's the launch. She's already been on my radio show to talk about it, but this is the actual launch in a lovely little cafe restaurant hotel called the Artist's Residence in Pimlico. I've actually never, I don't think I've ever been there before. Stop fiddling with my hair. Actually, I am really enjoying my hair at the moment. The fact I'm enjoying anything at the moment is a breakthrough. <laughs> Um, so I'm heading over on public transport um, to support Paula to be there at her launch. But listen, she doesn't need me to be a success. She's hugely talented, so beautiful. And a muse. I think she is my muse. I'll see you there. Look in there, I've always said the most beautiful parts of London are forbidden to most of us because they are private squares and this is Warwick Square in Pimlico. I have, look at that, is that lilac or laburnum? On the inside of her back leg now, I didn't even notice it. I, um, I have never been here before but I love it. So this is Pimlico, everybody. Look at this. We forced her to do this, didn't we? we this is not the sort of thing. Paula would never do this, but we forced her. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Today is actually publication day. Publication day today, and it's come around so slowly but quickly. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of hard. It takes a long time to get there, and then suddenly yeah, it's out. And um, I've been terrified this last week, I have to say, very scared this last week. But today I'm surrounded by lovely people, and I'm, I'm happy. And you're in a safe place. May I ask what you're wearing? Oh, I am wearing vampire's dress. Oh, oh, vampire's wife. Vampire's wife. Fantastic, Paula. Fantastic. Yeah. Although and I'm hot. It's lovely. It's, it's, yeah, but it's lovely. Hot. It's really fantastic. And we're in this amazing place. Have you been here before? I have never been. I love this. I'm determined. Any event I have, I never have events, going to be here. Because this is so special. You need to go and look at the rooms. It's the artist's residence and it's fabulous. So you can stay here. You can stay here. They've got the most amazing rooms. Go and look at the grand suite. You'll love it. Oh my god, I might do that actually. I might do that straight away. But just very quickly, Paula. Paula came on my show. Go to BBC Sounds. Go to Late Night Joe and you'll find the whole interview. But for those who can't be bothered and want to know what this is, it's a it's a really cosy, comfy crime read. If you love Paula's channel, if in fact you don't know Paula, which I wouldn't have thought is the case, then this is a great introduction to her because her whole world is in this book. Paula, just explain a little bit about the plot and where it's set. So I live in Norfolk. I'm a, I'm a Londoner who was transplanted to Norfolk and um, the protagonist of my book is called Daphne Brewster and she is a Londoner who moves to rural Norfolk and strange things start to happen. There is, um, as you can tell from the uh, title of the book, so a murder happens and Daphne finds herself sort of like a and can I just say, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, if you enjoy it, I think there's another. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. No name places or anything, just sit where you want to sit because, you know, we're having fun and having a lovely time, so please take your seat. I'm just going to be at the, this end, at the end, but apart from that, just grab a seat. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> but um, honestly, I want to thank you all for being here. Um, this is... Um, this has been a real labour of love. It's something that I think a lot of people didn't expect 
I would necessarily do. A cosy crime novel is not necessarily to do with cake um, <laughs> or um, all those lovely things. But funny enough, it is. Um, because there's cake, there's vintage, and there's all those things, and gardening in my book. And so it sort of, um, it sort of encapsulates everything that I love, but with also the naughty side that hopefully a lot of you notice, but it's always there. And that naughty side um, apparently includes murder. <laughs> What a long but fabulous lunch. And yes, my book. Oh my goodness me. How are you, Myrtle? That was a long lunch. Do you know, I, um, yes, you can hear the Marylebone Church bell. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Don't squash my tulips. I bought these on the way back because I just think they're beautiful. I love tulips when they're greeny yellow. Um, well, Myrtle, how are you? Have you had a nice afternoon's rest whilst I've been out? Should we just have a quick chat to people and then I'll take you down to the park? Um, that was a really lovely lunch and I am so fond of Paula, as I'm sure many of you are. Um, this is her book. As I say, you can hear the interview on BBC Sounds. Best thing to do is buy the book. And she signed it to me. I love the bookmark. She signed it, Darling Joe, with love, Paula. Do you know what was so interesting about, gosh, my hair, I'm sorry. So interesting about that lunch. A, it was very long. <clears throat> because we were all just talking and a wonderful small mix of people and mainly people from social media in fact I think nearly everyone from social media and I don't get to meet these people very well. my background is actors journalists people in social media I'm only beginning to meet and they fascinate me their journeys how they've got to where they are. And you know, it's too easily dismissed as what an easy way to make a living. It is hard, it is a hard way. I mean, I, I'm not making a living from it. I mean, I'm making money from it. I'm not making a living from it. But these people make a living from it and they are really talented. And just sitting, talking to them, I've learned so much, so much about, um, where they got to where they are and the niche, the field in social media that they have, whether it's gardens or books or not books at all. I mean, Paula's an author, um, but there, no one else at that table, I don't think was an author, but they all had their own niche. And I just love sitting, talking to them. So that was four hours that just flew by. Anyway, and we got a goodie bag. Um, but yes, I will leave the link to the plotting shed murder. What a clever woman she is, so clever. Now, Mert, you've got back in your chair, but we are going for a walk. Yes, indeed. Like it or not, we are going for a walk. Time to get this hair cut, I think, next week. No, it's not snow, everybody. It's blossom. It's blossom, look. All over the road. This is Marylebone Blossom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So yes, I am driving over to Hackney. I'm not taking public transport because it's Hackney, East London is quite tricky for me. I don't know where I'm going to park. Um, it can't be as difficult as parking around here. I haven't told Anna because I'm in her hood, but I haven't told her because I'm going to be seeing her tonight. Because, of course, it is the radio show tonight, and oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to it. If you remember, I took one of the shows off last week, so it'd be nice to be back on air. Um, but I'm going to Hackney because of... Look, let's just... You know, you are so kind. All of you are so kind. And I say again and again, what do people do that don't have you in their lives? You know, I have a tiny family, a brother, 
but I have all of you who just support me. And, um, you know, you always say, oh, Joe, you look amazing and you've got this energy. And, well, I don't look, I don't look amazing. I look like I've been ill for 10 days. Well, I'm better now, but I suppose it wasn't 10. It was a week, I'm exaggerating. So I just want to give myself a treat. And I follow an influencer called Estée Lalonde. Uh, well, I follow her, I know her, actually, and I interviewed her. And I always love her recommendations when it comes to skin and beauty. And she's very holistic. And this is a wonderful facialist who I think only uses massage. I don't think, well, I know she doesn't use any machines. Um, and she's in Hackney. And it's part of the Moments Studio, I think is where she's based, the Moments Studio. All I know is there was a long waiting list to get to see her. So I am excited and it's an hour and a half's treatment. So I'm not really sure what that involves. I don't care what it involves. I really don't care. I'm just so looking forward. Look at me, clean face, clean face, bald face, swimming hair, sunglasses, off to East London. So look at this everybody. I've I've driven through East London and I've arrived at a sanctuary, a beautiful sanctuary near Clissold Park. I will leave the links below. And look who's here. Hello. Hello. You are everything I wanted you to be. Oh my God. Well, I'm so glad you are here. So I You're found. A dream, dream client. I found you through Estée Lalonde. Love. And um, do you know what really. So I have to come clean and tell everyone. Forgive me, everybody. I look dreadful. I've been no. ill. Actually, I've been ill. Don't worry, I'm no, no longer ill. But oh, I, I'm good. never ill. I'm but good. I, um, I went to bed for a week. I know. So this is my treat to myself. Um, well, you're, get, you're getting back in bed. I'm getting back into bed. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. Nice um, heated bed. But I, so I followed Estée, and Estée had a facial. Well, tell me how you pronounce your name. Xenia. Xenia. Yeah. Xenia. And where's that from? It's a Russian name, but I'm from Estonia originally. Estonia. So mm. exotic. Mm. Um, so Estenia. Xenia. 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 Yeah. Um, and so I tried to book and I couldn't. And this was like six weeks ago. And so I then, I just left a message and I said, well, I don't think your booking systems worked because yeah, I tried to book. I know. And then you said, no, it does. <laughs> it's just, that's my first appointment. That's how busy she is. She is so, so busy. Um, and I think you'll find out why. So tell yeah. us what's happening today. So today we're doing the ultimate lift and glow. So it's a little bit of everything. It is very much a massage based facial. So it is based on releasing the tension, the muscles that we overuse. We have, we hold a lot of tension, trauma, emotion in the face. I think everybody always goes for body massages and we think, oh, I have so much tension in my back the same kind of tension lives in your face and I think it's really important to address that too. Um, but the facial has the full, the full shebang really, shoulder, neck, chest massage, head massage, all the products that will kind of, I will pick for your skin, some LED and my favorite buckle. So that's the intra oral when I go behind the cheek, working on the tension with the jaw, but also it's super lifting, super sculpting. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is for me, and you know, I'm old everybody, this is the first time I've ever had a facial like this, so um, I'm going to turn this off. I could do a time lapse, but I just don't want this on, do you know what I mean? Forgive me, I will tell you honestly how I feel at the end of it, but I'm going to turn this off now, do so it. I can totally Indulge and enjoy. And I'm not going to speak, I'm just going to shut up.
that was lovely. It was an hour and a half and a, a real treat. It was a treat. And um, I will treat myself again when I can afford it. But it just, you know, those little things, if you could afford it, it wouldn't, it, you wouldn't value it as much. It's when you can't afford these things, you really value them. So um, yeah, that was really lovely. Right, I'm gonna go home, have a nap, and then get ready for work. We're leaving now, everybody. That's Sarah, Hi. senior producer. Watch the vlog, Sarah, make sure you do. Mel, Hello. who's, Mel's got better. He's was ill as well, we were both ill. Have you fully recovered? Almost. I finished yeah. my antibiotic tonight. There he is. Miss Bell, you've been ill for weeks. No, I've been off on leave. I was oh. ill for a weekend and then I've been off for two weeks oh, on leave. I thought, I thought you, you were ill and I thought yes, maybe you caught it off Mel or something. No, no I don't I know. Really. I caught it off a tube. I'm sure I caught it off a tube. Mel, is your cab here? I think so. Bye. See you later. Bye. Well, Bye. are you wearing a hairpiece? <laughs> I just know, you know, I'm you look like Napoleon. No, I look like Rod Stewart, I think. No, no. I think, it, hang on, look up. When I get up, in the, when I get out of the shower in the morning, I don't bother combing or brushing it, I just let it, I just shake it. And this is how, this is how, it, this is how it settled. Normally I have a, part, a side parting. But well, it's suddenly got a life. How long is it since I've seen you? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. Well, it's grown leaps and bounds. How's life been without me, Dave? Well, I, I, I'm... I was going to say, oh, yeah, classic, uh, classic uh, Joe Good tonight. Um, on the show. On the show, yeah. It was easy. Um, um, I've never done live TV. Oh yes, I have, but it wasn't important. Yeah, it was Alan Titchmarsh. <laughs> no, so. I hope Alan wasn't listening, because it in my, uh, at the time of my life then it was important actually. Yeah. Um, I had a facial massage today where they put their. Um, she put her fingers in yeah, my mouth. Your mouth. I was thinking you must look like something Wallace and Gromit. No, it feel. Look how my cheekbones look. Yeah, but it must look, well, yes. Yeah, I've high, got no eye makeup on. No, no. Well, no they're not high, but you don't. You have. They, she shook your mouth. You didn't like Cherry, Cherry Blair, did you? you no, know, I didn't like Cherry Blair. Her mouth is rectangular. Can't, don't you think my cheekbones look better? Uh, no, not well. Mm, no. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Sorry. Right. I'm. What? Uh, well, and who was it said that you model in an old-fashioned way? Oh yes, Helen Lederer was on the show today. She was very funny. She said I was modelling like someone from a Graton catalogue. Uh, someone said you model in an old-fashioned way. Yes, in an old-fashioned way. I do. I well, model a bit 1960s. Well, when you get out, the, whenever you get out of the cab, you do. Give, you give me a little twirl. I always give a in. twirl. And you know, who did that, Anthea? It doesn't look out old-fashioned. Puts me in mind of you know. Dorothy Perkins. Dorothy Perkins? Dorothy That's where Perkins. I used to get my tights, Dorothy Perkins. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is this is my cab. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being rude, but why are you filming? Oh, um, oh gosh. Can you who... even get in the cab? Oh, no, we'll do. But do you, you mind being like on... You like a couple, you like a couple. See, this is what I love oh, about London. Like a... the first time Don't start rumours. No. No, yeah. Where have you two? Where have you been? Okay, so we've been to a fantastic night. It's it's called Age Against the Machine. It was at the Phoenix pub. Oh, yeah. And it's downstairs in the basement. It was fantastic. Oh, the Phoenix is amazing. Phoenix. Charing Cross Road. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's for the over 30s. Oh, well, Dave, we should get <laughs> down there. No, we're, we're it's brilliant, you know. 30 years too late. You, have you heard about it? No. No, we could it. go there now. You look pretty familiar. He's on my vlog. Oh, Joe weren't a musician one, one point. Were you a magician? A musician, no. Uh, oh, a musician. He was a musician. A musician, was he? Musician. Tell everyone the band you were in. Oh, no. It's just, it's no 40, go on. 40 years ago. No, go on. Go on. No, no. It was, it, you wouldn't have heard them, but it was Beasts in Cages. It was, uh, Beasts in Cages. And I found myself no. on Apple, Apple, Apple Tunes. I found myself on <laughs> Apple Tunes. I didn't even know Beasts I was on it. Beasts in Cages. But I know music from four years ago, definitely, but I don't know Beasts in Cages. Do no, you mind being on my vlog? This is going to be on my vlog on Thank no, Kevin's because no, I have no, to get no. permission. So Please my make name sure is John. This is Par Parbra. Parbra. Yeah. John. John. Joe. So Joe, Dave the cabbie, Dave the cabbie. and my the YouTube cabbie. channel is Middle Age Minx. Please That's subscribe. So, look at us. We must go. Know, so it. nice to meet you. Age against the machine. We will do. Age yeah. against the machine. Thank you. What a lovely bloke. Yeah. This is what I. It's what I love about London. <laughs> Say goodbye, Dave. Tell well, everyone to subscribe. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> 
Do we look we over 70? Oh God, we look very old. Look at me, I haven't even shaved. I don't even shave on a Friday. I'm just wearing a red lip and no eye makeup. Maybe I he recognised you. I know. He, he thought you were a magician. <laughs> a, magi oh. a magician or a musician? I'll tell you what, I needed to ma magic up some work yesterday. I was empty for two hours. Oh, for goodness sake. 3.30. Oh, my heart doesn't people. bleed for you. Two hours. Yeah, but you should go to bed and have a sleep. Uh, Say goodbye. Bye. So don't forget to subscribe and um, and walking past the thing in Carnaby Street. And a thumbs up. And a thumbs up. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.